Thank you for visiting the Crypto Coiners channel. In this video, I want to talk about the free Chrome browser extension MetaMask. But, before you continue, please take a second to subscribe to my channel. I make these videos to inform you about Bitcoin and other crypto news, and your support will be much appreciated. Thanks. Now, why should anyone install MetaMask? Why is it used for? Well, MetaMask is a cryptocurrency wallet which can be used on Chrome, Firefox and Brave browsers. It's also a browser extension, meaning that it works like a bridge between normal browsers and the Ethereum blockchain. The best way to use MetaMask is to store coins. MetaMask is not really a software program, it's more like a hot wallet that stores your private keys. It's safer than keeping your crypto funds on an exchange, where they can be hacked, but it's not as safe as storing crypto on a hardware wallet, like the Ledger or Trezor. That being said, MetaMask is still a great option for storing crypto funds, and to be honest, I haven't heard about any serious security breaches. As long as you keep your recovery phrase away from others, there shouldn't be much to worry about. MetaMask can be used to store keys for Ethereum cryptocurrencies only. These tokens are similar to Bitcoin, but the major difference is that Ether and ERC20 tokens are created and hosted on the Ethereum blockchain. To send and receive Ether tokens, you need to pay a gas fee. The gas fee depends on how fast you want the network to handle your transaction, and you can choose how much you want to pay. I will talk about gas fees and how to use them to save money later. The MetaMask extension can be downloaded from the Google Chrome or the Firefox add-on store, depending on your browser preference. Just follow the installation directions and add the extension to your browser. Once done, a window will appear, asking for your seed phrase. If you install a new wallet, select the Create a Wallet button to continue. MetaMask will give you a new security phrase, to access your wallet. Next, we need to create a secure password to log in. The password is just an extra security tool to prevent people from accessing your MetaMask wallet. The secret backup and recovery seed phrase will appear, and if you click on the lock, the words will show up. Should you ever want to restore access to your wallet, you will need these words. Write down the words on a piece of paper, and put it away where nobody can find it. When asked, confirm the 12 words in the correct order, and if you pass the test, you gain full access to your wallet. I already installed the extension, so when I click on the small fox icon in the top right hand corner of my browser, the wallet appears. You can view your address activity on the Etherscan website, or export your private key. You will need to deposit some Ether to your wallet to pay for the gas fees on the network. If you already have some Ether, you can send it to your wallet address and store it here. To purchase Ether, there are a few options. Direct Deposit, the Wired Ebit Card, or Coin Switch. Your account is now ready to accept Ether transactions, but you can add more tokens. Here's how it works. Click the Add Token button. Select the token that you want to add, and you're ready to receive and send tokens to this wallet. If you want to add a token, but it can't be found by MetaMask, go visit CoinGecko.com and search for the token there. Here's how it works. Open the CoinGecko website, and enter the token name in the search box. On the token page, look for the contract address, click it, and copy the address. Go back to your MetaMask extension, paste this address in the contract field, hit Next, Add Token button, and the token will automatically be added to your MetaMask account. You can also connect MetaMask to your hardware wallet, such as the Ledger or Trezor. It's an extra safety feature, and if you have a Ledger or Trezor, I highly recommend you to use this option. By using a hardware wallet, you add an extra security to MetaMask, making it even more difficult for hackers to gain access to your funds. When you send Ether-based tokens, interact with another contract, or do anything else on the blockchain, you must pay the miners who use a lot of computer power to make the network transactions happen. That payment is calculated in gas, and gas is always paid with Ether. The gas fee is not paid to MetaMask, but to the miners for mining transactions, putting them into blocks, and securing the blockchain. To see the gas fee prices, you can use the Ether Gas Station website. 
Here you see a list with the recommended gas prices. The trader gas fee is the highest fee, giving your transaction the highest priority. The other fees are lower and are okay if you can wait for the transaction. Now, the good thing about MetaMask is that you can customize the fees. To do this, go to Advanced Settings and here you can edit the gas fee by moving the small circle. Remember to pick a minimum amount of gas, or the transaction will fail, and you have paid gas for nothing. Even if a transaction on the network doesn't take place, the miners need to be paid for their computation power. You can check your transaction on the Etherscan website. Fill in the address where the transaction went to, or came from, and you will see a history of all the transactions that took place on that address. It's a handy site to keep track of all your transactions on the network. Another way to use MetaMask is to participate in decentralized finance products. These peer-to-peer -peer services are popping up all over the internet, making it easy for people to lend, borrow, trade and swap Ethereum-based tokens. Check out DeFi Pulse to see a list of available sites. Okay, this is the end of this tutorial. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to download my Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies tutorial. Check the description box below for more details. Have a great day, and thanks again for watching to the end.